Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Today I have on a new hairdo, a new wig. This is Heard It All by Raquel Welsh in Pale Golden Honey. Pale Golden Honey. Heard It All by Raquel Welsh in Pale Golden Honey. Now this one here is a nice looking wig, but it seems to want to some hairs in the back seem to want to stick up where they shouldn't be sticking up. And I've sprayed it a couple of times. This is a hairstyle that goes to the side. It's got side sweep bangs. It's real pretty with earrings like that hanging down. Um, there's the side view of it. Let me get where you can see it. Sorry, I have to move my chair so you can see it better. There, I think I got it right. Nope, now I'm past where I'm supposed to be. About there. Is that a little bit better? There we go. I hadn't had my chair in the right place for a while. There's the back of it. Look at that in the back. Now this is the short hair. You have to watch your little wispy hairs down in here of your bio hair. But look, isn't that pretty? And there's the front. So this is the Heard It All by Raquel Welsh in um, Pale in uh, Pale Golden Honey. Pale Golden Honey. I got one problem with this wig. This keeps wanting to go into my face like this and separate. It doesn't want to stay together like that. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Something along, really along the aisle, like that. It's hard to get it to stay put. I've tried with some spray, but it still doesn't want to hold on just right. I don't know what's wrong with my light this morning. It's not holding my camera just right. I'm sorry if it's moving around on you. One of those days. So, anyway, so this is the pale golden weed. I'm not happy with this separation here. It's hard to deal with that to me. But it's still a nice hairdo. I really like it. I love the color. The color is very beautiful, very natural looking. So, anyways, there it is. Try this again. There's the back. there's the side so yeah I like this wig now let's take it off and see what it looks like on the inside I'll be right back all right now I've got on the sparkle wig in buttered toast so there it is. It's just the Sparkle Wig by Raquel Welsh and Butter Toast. So now I am looking There we go. Alright, so we can see the inside of this wig. We can see that it's got lace here and here open weave down the middle which is interesting and a lot of we open weave in the back so you can see what that looks like here this is this is not lace this is something else here this is some kind of a uh, lace front this is a lace front and this is the uh, the lace right here so I'm not sure I'm really crazy about this lace front. Can you see it right there? There is no uh, felt. It is a, I thought it felt a little funny. No pun intended, felt, felt. But there's just this lace front in the, no felt in the front for your forehead, nothing. If you look at other wigs, 
you can see that they have that felt right there on the front. This one only has this. So that's an interesting point. So I'll take it off one more time and show it to you. Yeah, definitely feeling that lace. I wondered when I first put it on, I was wondering about that. So there, there it is, that's how it's supposed to look. Get it back on my hairline. And see these little, I don't know if you can see these little wispies, they're just sticking straight up. Can you see those? at all. There's just a bunch of little wispies. It looks like it's uh, just something causing it to stand straight up. Can you see that right there? That's standing straight up. So I have sprayed it and sprayed it and tried to get it to behave, but this one's a little bit hard to, uh, hard to get. Look at all of them. Static electricity or something maybe. I don't know, but they're just, it's just standing up like crazy. Can you see that? All over back in here. Now I can spray it down, but the minute I take it off and put it back on, they go to standing up like crazy. See, that kind of takes care of it. Try to get it to stay over. I don't like it falling in my face. I really do not like a wig that falls in my face like this one does. I want it to stay over and make sort of like that and not fall in my face. But it tends to want to fall and separate and go right in my face. I'm not fond of that part because I don't like that. I never have liked wearing anything that goes down over my eyes. So anyways, that's the new wig of the day. And uh, it's hurt it all. Heard It All by Raquel Welsh in Pale Golden Honey. Uh, you see what I mean? I won't be wearing this wig very much. I can't stand this unless I cut bangs in it. <laughs> I just haul off and cut me some bangs. I think that might be the best idea. I'll put it up on the old wood block. Back there, there she is. You can see the wood block, the blockhead. Still in the updo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with this wig. I may cut me some bangs in it. I don't know. Um, I like the hairdo, basically. I like the hairdo. This I cannot stand, falling in my face like that. There's no reason for that. There's the side view. There's the back. Real pretty in the back. I think it's really pretty. Side. And back around. So, there you are. The Hurt It All by Raquel Welsh in Pale Golden Honey. So, um, also, I wanted to talk to you today and let you know that there's another Bible verse I have for you. It's Ephesians 3, 8, and 9. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, sorry. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. And it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves, but by God, by grace, that any man should boast. So, what it says to us is that our salvation comes from God. It's not anything to do with how many good works we do, how many organizations we contribute to, how many uh, community services we do. That has nothing to do with anything. Salvation is by grace of God, the grace of God. So that's my verse for you today, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. And I hope you'll look it up in your Bible. I hope you get a Bible. I hope you read the Bible, pray, and go to church. Today is Sunday, so I'm hoping to see you at Free Chapel. 
and I'll see you tomorrow. That's my story. Bye.